Hi there. I figured I would spend a few minutes to talk to you about my line of pastels and uh, show you how I design them and why they're different than other pastels in the marketplace. So I have two sets. Um, I have a 80 piece set that's um, I called my landscape essential set. And then I also have a 40 piece atmospheric neutral set. And um, both of these sets are manufactured by Jack Richardson. They make a really nice professional quality soft pastel and it has a really nice buttery hand so I'm really happy with the quality of them. And um, when I actually selected these colors I looked at all 550 colors that they had in their palette and then selected what I considered like the quintessential colors um, for painting landscapes. So this is my ADP set as you can see here. And what I've done is really grounded, actually I usually look at it this way. Um, I ground these in the darkest darks that they had and then work up to the lights. And so um, similar to how a oil painter would paint, you like to look at different values within a color family. And so I've designed these to have different values within a color family. And I started with what the quintessential colors are for skies. For skies. So I know that I can pick out three different colors and those are gonna be my great sky colors. And I can also go a little bit warmer as well as really great colors for, for um, water reflections. And so as I went through the color family, made sure that I had the right number of colors for those warm um, sunset and sunrise colors and skies from the yellows to the peaches and pinks all the way through some of the lavenders a really good set of blues and greens, and then some warmer greens, as well as some of the, um, the darker, more neutral greens, so that we have really all the colors of landscapes that are represented. And most people, when they buy a set, they love all these bright colors, but what they're missing is some of the really important neutrals to make our landscape have a little bit of atmosphere. And so I created another set of a 40 piece atmospheric neutral set which is a set of neutrals and I started with just a set of neutral grays that aren't warm or cool but is right in the middle and then worked from there so from dark to light again in terms of value um, working with a really nice set of um, neutral blues neutral greens a couple different shades from dark to light as well as some of the warmer tones so this allows people to to build up those colors for mist and fog and those atmospheric kind of neutrals that you'd want to create um, mood in your piece. And then a little bit more um, neutral greens because we have so many neutrals in our world. In fact, most of the colors that we see out in nature are neutral. And it's those pop colors and the seasonal colors or the edges of our day that gives us the color. But without the neutrals, the brights don't feel as bright and we need to have a nice balance of the both. So the combination of both of these sets really gives people um, a really good foundation to create pretty much any, any piece that you want. So I have, uh, to make it easy, I've created a little chart so that you can organize these by value and color because sometimes the uh, sets come in a, different, um, in a different order. And that way you can go back and see what color you may want to reorder if you need to reorder it. And you can organize it by color so that you can easily find the color that you need. Oftentimes this pastelis is all about, you know, kind of this uh, hunt and gather to find the right color. So I did the, I did the uh, chart for both, for both sets. And um, I hope that you get a chance to, to try them out. Thank you.